Trini. Hello, darling. Guess what we're doing today? Well, it's not our usual rail. It is a very deep, dark rail. It's ten different types of styles of black trousers, but I think it's such an obvious classic for most people's wardrobes. You have them. Molly, you have millions. Um, <laughs> and I have certain ways I wear them and certain ways I won't. So I think one rule that I do have for myself personally is that I never wear black with colour. When I say colour, I mean those kind of like the pinks, the greens and the yellow. Neon is the one colour I'd, I'd let it. But I always feel that black and colour sort of deaden the colour. So I kind of like to wear black with neutrals. So I'm going to talk about what I wear black the most with and different shapes of trousers and what kind of shoe you have with different shapes and for body shape, which are the best black trousers for you. Okay, and what are you wearing right now? So I'm wearing right now a pair of Loe. I don't know how to pronounce yeah. it. But I got these in the sale at Dover Street for like 100 quid. And they are a trouser, which is an interesting style. It's neither ankle crop nor to the ground. And this length used to bother me and I'd never have it in my wardrobe. But now I'm not so worried about where things end. It's just finding a shoe that works. It's quite high waisted. They're a little bit big for me. The crotch is low, mm -hmm. but because it's slightly wide leg, I don't worry about it. Yeah, and because you don't have laces on those trailers, it's still quite fresh and clean, isn't it? Yes, if I had laces, they might graze the top of the bottom of the trouser and that would bug me. And why have you picked this top with the trousers? This top is my idea of doing a sort of made a little bit of an effort in an evening but not hugely. So it's a nice thin Lurexy fabric. It's got this little sleeve detail here. It's a really nice old Lovely. Zara coat. Yeah. And keeping it clean. And I know the length of this is a bit short. Mm -hmm. So that little bit comes out. Yeah. So I've sort of made it smarter straight away because I've got this lovely sort of faux furnace reflects light a bit so it's not too dense a black. I've got a little bit of shimmer. So it's about all these different textures with the black and that's one of the ways I love wearing black. If I think of all the outfits I'm gonna show you, it's either polka dot or it's texture mm -hmm. that's changed. Yeah. So smart casual. Yeah. And I like the fact, these are little details, but wearing a, a skinny polar neck means you can wear hipster better because the skinny polar neck is allowing to show your waist. One way an hourglass can wear a trouser if it's a width here, a bit lower if they were a fitted top or a body. For women with bigger boobs, would you suggest not having the turtleneck? I would suggest the tuck in. Ah, oh, that's or nice. Or you can add the little V neck equation. But just putting that on gives me a V to the outfit. It acts like that V that a bra creates mm. and it would separate the boobs. Lovely. Next. <laughs> okay, this looks expensive. I know, this is about <laughs> putting this together and this was one of my favorite buys last year from Zara, which is a black satin trouser. And I did say satin is something I didn't want to use that much moving forward. Mm -hmm. And I think it was colored satin. And these are a kind of man's cut, but with an ankle crop. And they're really great trousers. They were like 39.99. Yeah. So I've done them as a first first way of showing you with a very stacked platform. Now, shoe length when you wear an ankle crop is something that people struggle with. And I'm just going to show you three ways I'd wear this ankle crop with and different footwear. I'm wearing a Massimo Duty shirt, which I also got for Christmas. It just elongates my, my legs. Uh, there's a really big wedge. I feel it's cool. There's just that little hint of that little round gold there and the little round gold there. So I just love that together. And then because I've picked up on that detail, I might go for a coat, which also echoes it. This is from uh, Givenchy and it does look a lot of gold and so it's, it's such a lovely coat and I got this at Sonnet Porte 80 or 90 percent off in the sale. I quite like that little velvet detail mm -hmm. popping out. This is quite a structured coat. I like it's a narrow trouser. I wouldn't want a big flare to come out of this. Yes. I just like that proportion. The coat has made my waist higher so you don't see where my crutch is. It's like a coat dress this coat actually and yeah. I would nearly even keep it on because it just feels like something that's like that's the outfit yeah I, I wore a ton of coat dresses in the 90s but i'm going to now change these trousers out and make them sort of casual it's a stripe so you know what i'm going to say even though this is a lot of black things i'm still going to do a red lip lip lux in sweeney this is my next look, which is, you know, still being quite neutral. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a black trouser, black jacket. With this length of trouser, it is ankle grazing. So I've gone with a plain white trainer, my Ross and Bromley trainer. I've gone with a little t-shirt from where, you know, Mango. 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 And it's got the, the shoulder in it, which is great because this stellar coat, jacket coat, jacket, mm -hmm. has no shoulder pads. And, I, and it can make me look very narrow shouldered. And I just do like this proportion of having a shoulder pad there. Yeah, such an easy way to wear black. 
Gosh, with mm. the stripe. I thought we were doing trousers, not skirts. Well, this is what I call the wide trouser skirt. To ah. skirt. Because some of us can have a trouser really wide. And these are from Joseph. I got them um, last year. And this is really homage to my mother because every Christmas she wear the same outfit, which are these black concertina trousers and this red and white polka dot top. I just remember it so well. Yeah. So I'm trying to, because I wouldn't do a red and white polka dot top. This used to be a polka dot Zara dress. Yes. And in my excitement to cut everything off, I also cut off half of the bows. <laughs> So I've just kind of tied it at the side. This is a really classic way to wear something. And this mm. is more, for me, I feel it's lovely. But I wouldn't wear it. Yeah. But I think I want to make it sexy. Because when you wear something which is really wide-legged, you don't feel sexy in it. But I want to make it sexy. So for this look, I'm just going a bit smokier on my eyes. Like that, with some magician there. And then underneath a bit just sort of you know woken up having not taken my makeup off kind of sexy eye as opposed to perfectly put on sexy eye so i might do a little bit of eugenie that's a lighter lip there and then over it i might put a little bit of sheer shimmer in katie and then put it on the top there and then a bit of blending might be relevant at this stage so the art of this is to wear that sexy jacket as a top i'd need some double-sided tape here and i was thinking the belt's too big but there's something oddly cool to me about wearing a very high heel so it doesn't make my legs shorter mm -hmm. but having this slightly hipstery belt yeah and i think it meets that point of your skin yeah. where it's just like as you it's kind of cool i have to then put something here yeah. So otherwise I'm there, which is like not comfortable at dinner. But I like that. This, it's a mistake, which felt then purposeful. But I think the idea for this is always if the trousers are long and really wide, how do you make the silhouette here feel fitted? These are some of the best investments for so many things in your wardrobe, mm -hmm. is the stretchy belt with something at the front. And if you are short-waisted, it's really good to have a hole to the fabric at the front because if you have a thicker belt and the fabric goes all the way across it really cuts you up like you Jemima because you've got long legs short body so if you wear a belt with this thickness you need to see the flow of your body in the middle here yeah I tried that before and I was like it feels so wrong and I didn't know why yeah, but that's, that's why. why but I like the cleanness of this the fact the buckles there the fact at the back it's just really clean yeah. and this is some kind of like a long skirt sexiness floaty but I don't feel overwhelmed by fabric yeah so this is the high waist marine jean and I love this jean. This jean I think is very good on a lot of people unless you feel your tummy controls your life because it doesn't have that much tension here to hold in tummies mm -hmm. so at the end of the day I can feel I got a bit of tummy but I frankly let's not worry about our tummies. And we're we focused down. on the sleeve. And we're focusing on yeah. the sleeve exactly. Wide leg crop so with this I can wear a ton of different types of um, boots so I'm just going to show you a bit of that. So I love it with the skimming um, boot. This is the Zara or the Prada. I can't remember. I think it's the Prada, but the Zara is identical, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. um, and I like the way it skims and it doesn't cover. And so, you've got the black socks on. And I got the black socks on mm. because you could do it with no socks, but I just like to have nothing breaking up your foot. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one way. Okay. Then if I want to make it a bit more elegant, I've got another one which I haven't worn. Ooh. So this is different for me to have an elegant piece of footwear. This is like a classic sort of pointy boot, but I think because it's ankle enough, you can yeah. do it. If it was a little bit longer, you couldn't. So this is like a cowboy boot meets a leather boot. They are very I cool. Imagine your Robert Clerchery's would look great with this as well, the squareness of the toe. I think you're very unused to seeing me in yes, this, and that's, that's why. It. This is when you buy a piece of footwear, Jemima, and you just, you want that to be you. Yeah. But it's not quite me, and I haven't found the way. I think. <laughs> I was thinking, if you're a sort of hourglass and and you have that shape and you have an elegant ankle, it's very mm. nice to have that elegance down there. Mm. So I think it does depend on your shape, and I'm not that woman. So if I go straight to my clumpy clergy, which I know immediately that Molly is right, and they'll feel better. When you begin to experiment with different lengths of things, that you have to kind of really think, the footwear I would have worn with something I need to think about differently, and it will take a while, and then suddenly you'll put something on, and you'll think, okay, it's working, and then you figure out why it's working, and you take that knowledge to the next time you do an outfit. Yeah, it's when you know why it works. Yeah. For me, the reason this works probably is that it's a wide leg and I need something heavy to weigh it down. 
maybe because I have a shorter leg, longer body. If you have a very long leg, maybe you don't need that so much. Like Susanna looked really bad in clodhoppery shoes because she had very long <laughs> legs and very beautiful formed ankles. Yeah. I'm wearing here a Tibby trouser and this is one that's a bit too big for me. And imagine you have a trouser which you want to tuck in and slightly change the proportion. So this is it now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pop sock and I'm going to put the trouser, the bottom of the trouser here, tuck the pop sock around the end, and then I'm going to put it in my boot. And it's just going to give a different proportion to the trouser. So I still get that flow instead of having that flat kind of rough of a moment. But you just want to have the top of the pop sock. And so it means that you've got a boot, which is going to give you the ankle. So the mm -hmm. boot can be long, grasp you around the ankle, and it just gives a better proportion and flow to the outfit. TB, where are we, these mm -hmm. trousers from, is far more, it's about architectural dressing and minimalist dressing. It's not about prettification, which this Me and M shirt is about. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to switch it out. Okay. So you'll notice that this is not black, but it's navy, and I love navy and black, and I think you can wear navy and black, brown and black, gray and black, white and black, gold and black, and silver and black. Okay. Those are my favorite colors to wear with black. This is my kind of minimalist moment. And then to add to it, I'd probably just do delicate cuffs. There. Trini, who would these trousers suit? Because I would be a bit worried about wearing them. I know. This is a real slightly fashion-y trouser. It's not for everyone because it's like a parachute shape, you know, mm. parachute trousers, it's that thin fabric. And I don't think it's for somebody who's really feminine and curvy. I think it's for somebody who likes more androgynous dressing mm. or minimalist dressing. But I just, there's something I love about this look and I feel cool in this look. And yeah, I'd even do that white and black and do that sort of floppy coat. Put the glasses on because that's kind of moment. Oh, that. cool. And then I might say to myself, okay, I'll introduce a stripe. That's as far as I'll go. Oh, go on then. <laughs> stripe there. <laughs> Or the minimalists otherwise might do totally plain and then have the leopard bag. But they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't hold the bag like that okay. for sure. It's going to be more, I think it's more, you know. Yeah, a bit grungy, but really Maybe. cool. Now I'm going back to that. It's got to be clean, actually much better without scarf because then you get the lovely lines and you just, that, that feels good. Now that's all come together as a look. Mm hmm all right, yeah. next. I've got these trousers. I've yeah. had these forever. These are the Sanaral ones. And I see a way to wear them. I can't find the Zara sequiny dress because I like the idea of a very high-waisted trouser like this underneath a see-through dress because it gives you that really high-waistedness. Yeah. And it covers up what you want to cover. And I can't find it. But yeah. But I remember this. Ooh. Which I wore with a very high-waisted Zara skirt. Do you remember? Yeah. Last year, and I'm thinking, oh, I haven't worn this yet. With the shoulder pad top, it's all going to look amazing. I'm very excited. So this is about a very high-waisted trouser. Now, who is this good for? This is great for somebody who is an hourglass. Rolla Murray did these trousers for years, and I remember Kate Winslet and Holly Willoughby always wore them because they were very fitted, and they had this deep waistband, and it just gave them like a hourglass dress and then a little fitted top uh, like tucked in such a good look for an hourglass and it doesn't make you all about the length of leg because if you are a true hourglass you'll go in and out so it just showed off your waist beautifully and i think if you can find high waisted to trans, which have a panel here that's mm -hmm. great and then think about your top for me i need to go over this a little bit because otherwise you begin to see that these trousers are going up my back too much okay you see what i mean yeah but i love that look because i feel my legs are looking really long yeah and it's clever how it's boxy sometimes when you're boxy it gives more sense that you're narrower here yeah when it's high enough up and when did you get the trousers Trini? like 25 years ago wow yeah i think it was one of the first expensive things i bought they had they're so old that the salon label is not the last designer who dies oh, yeah. that. you know yeah it's that old but they oh, are an oldie and a goodie it's real investment dressing to me cost per wear is a pound <laughs> 50p 20p it's a humble jogging pant these are really old me and m's they've been in the wash so many times they shrunk a bit but it's like you can wear them as a humble jogging pant but how can you elevate the humble jogging pant so i'm taking a really cool blouse which i haven't worn yet i got it last year from massimo duty but i just love this sort of drama of the fringe and the floatiness and the little sleeves so yeah this is super smart and this is super casual and it is that sort of sports luxe moment and there's different ways you can do it so i can just have that it's beginning to look too much like a jogger you know because i got the trainer on 
I'm going to buy to the fact that they nearly are leggings and I don't wear black leggings, but I'm going to make my leg longer and put on my wedge boot. Yeah. I've got the comfort still of the jogger, which I love, like that. There. Instantly cooler. Instantly a bit cooler. I mean, I could just do that. Yeah. But I'm going to also think about what about they need a little something at the back. Oh, so keeping the drama at the front. That. Keep the drama at the front. Yeah. And then because this has got these things here, yeah. I might have the fringes coming through, but I don't like that bit there. So I would actually tuck that bit in Okay. there and just have it more at the front. So at the sides, if I put my hands in my pockets, mm -hmm. you don't see the shirt coming to here. I've got that drama there. It's just hanging down in its pleasant way. I can mm. move the fabric around the front a bit more so it hangs down properly. There's a little random fringe there that's not behaving. I'll have to just trim, <laughs> trim, trim him. No, he was just intentionally oh. longer. There he goes. So that, yeah. I, I love that. I feel that's, you know, just feels cool. Also, I really like that you've got your hair down with this. I think often with joggers, you can just think about putting your hair yeah, up. Yeah, in a scrunchie. Yeah. Exactly. But it does look really cool. And it's just having a beautiful shirt over a jogger and then something on top of that. And I think with a jogger, usually you feel your ass has been sagged down mm -hmm. by the amount of times it'd be in the washing machine and there's that kind of no yeah. support for a wobbly bottom. So therefore, a gilet is king. Oh, that's great. Mm. And do you normally buy black me and M joggers? I buy black and navy and khaki. Oh. Yeah, these are a really old pair. The newer ones had this wider base here, and oh, I don't yeah. know what they're like now, but these are about five years old. I'm on now the real long black jean, and this is Donna Ida, and she does a great long black jean, and I like the way all the hardware is up here. There's nothing down here, oh. so there's nothing to disturb you thinking, wow, length of leg, and I've got a very high heel on, again, a platform. Mm -hmm. um, they're very, very comfy. You can do anything in these jeans. Um, so I'm thinking, what would I do as a top? This is classic evening look. A velvet cape, because I did want a velvet jacket originally. Mm. I want like a 1970s velvet jacket, and I think that's what would look best with it. But I'm just trying a cape like that. Where's the cape from? The cape is from Zara. Lovely. Go with a little tie like this. So where's the top with the tie from? The top with the tie is top shop. <laughs> really old friend. Season three of Alice Templey's entire career. No So way. this must be like 20 something years old. I did think when I put it on, mm, is it gonna look weird and dated? But there's something very nice, I think, about how wasted it is. Yeah. And then the line of the trouser underneath. Yeah, and I think it's such a feminine design and then the trousers are kind of a bit more androgynous. Yeah, and then the little silver, the oh, little yeah. sort of silver gold poking out. So I think that does work. I do like that. I love that. Uh, another thing I would consider. This is um, if I wanted to really have a shorter jacket, but I just don't know if the proportion is going to work. Is this proportion right? It's okay. I just feel that isn't great. On a woman who was in proportion, this would come and hit her bottom. Yeah. It would be a better finish. So yeah. when I do this look, I'm going to show you in a navy the shape of jacket I would do. Okay. Like slightly 70s blazer. Yeah. And that to me is my favourite look, or something like this. Yeah, I mean, on camera it's coming up a bit black, so we can imagine. You can imagine, yeah. you can imagine. imagine. <laughs> but it's about the one button, it's about hitting it the same place that the trouser is, yeah. and it's about that 70s here, that was a 70s style of jacket. Yeah, I know we spoke about this before, but when it, the necktie comes down and it I marries up. It marries, it's coming together, Jemana. <laughs> this is the black wide leg jogger. Now, this is Serena Bude, I'm going to say gratefully. Um, m and have copied them. I mean, like, yeah. m and have copied Serena Butte, but I'm grateful for those people who feel Serena Butte is a really expensive brand and it's a designer brand. These are just floppy, wide leg. The m and ones aren't as wide leg, but it's that idea, I think, Jemima, of a really lovely fabric in a jogger. Yeah, and having the stripe on the side, I think, yeah. is a really nice and, touch. And just doing it monochromatic, we tried a few things. You don't want to be too fussy up here, but just having a plain shirt, black buttons, and then you yeah. can do a long coat. But I think when you're this length of trouser, you can do a, what I call a slight tulip-shaped coat, and then just have the volume coming out the end. And your half tuck, is that covering the drawstring? It's covering the drawstring, um. yes. They do actually go a bit higher, these, but... Oh, I, love but I, I love these. I, I wear these a lot. So, nice. should we do the final outfit? So, this is my final moment, and this is one of my favourite trousers. I actually had two pairs of these. This whole look, when you start with a trouser like this, which to me is a huge flair, you want to then decide to what extent you embrace the 70s, because that is a very 70s look. And what's interesting about the 70s is 
There are no trousers I've ever bought from the 70s which ever came this long. They always are sort of like that. Oh, you know, yeah. Whenever you look at things, they never really made trousers really, really long. Mm. So I've never successfully bought 1970s flares pre-love. But if you are more petite, you can. But I do think with this look, it should be to the ground. It's just a better look. And you just don't worry about what your shoe is underneath. It's better to not be a very thin stiletto because that wasn't of the era. It's better to be a wedge. You know, we get stuck in your um, the widths of those trousers. Mm -hmm. I'm going into it totally by having this 70 inspired yeah. shirt. This is a vampire's wife shirt with that blouson sleeve, with that real 70s collar, high and deep, and also quite um, fitted. Yeah. And then to cap it all, I haven't worn this yet. This is the first outing of it with, on Closet Confessions. And this is a cape I bought last year from um, Vampire's Wife. It matches. Wow. Killer. It's my equivalent to the black plastic one, but I will actually wear it. And you have it like that, and like you just feel oh, such yeah. cool. So really, glamorous. I just feel it's so glamorous. I feel I want to sort of turn up to a party. The and movement as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, hello. Why stop at the cave? Why stop at the cave, <laughs> girls? Why stop at the cave? So I hope that's given you a sense of black trousers and different ideas to inspire you. Should we have a chat, Jemima? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yes. Um, I'd like to do a close questions where I take some items that we can find on pre-love sites mm. just to show people it's possible yeah and there's as so talk, much yeah, on there. it would be good should we do that as one of the next ones i know it would take a bit yeah. of research rachel solomon mm. is phenomenal at that one of one of the people who actively contributes in comments every week on closet confessions and has yeah. great style herself and she's great at finding stuff like on the real real and best yeah. yeah she's so good at yeah. that my but, favorite thing pre-loved is when you find collabs because when they come out they sell out yeah. so quickly but also it's the collab when it hasn't just launched because those those prices yeah. so hyped up. I remember seeing my leopard print coat, mm. which I remember was already under quid for three hundred twenty pounds. I think. Yeah. And I'm sure if it's on there now, it would have yeah. come down. But that's why I think vintage is good because some people are generally just getting rid of all of their clothes. Yeah. Like they're not trying to make loads of money on it. Yeah. And you, you do get some real good bargains. Yeah, you can. So we're definitely going to do one tips and tricks, and I'm going to yeah. ask everyone around the office their tips and tricks. Should we do that that's too? That's a really good idea. Um, and if you contribute your tips and tricks on this one anyway, it'd be really helpful. Lots of things coming up. We're still thinking them through. Thank you, Jemima. Thanks, Trini. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Molly. Thanks. Bye. Bye.